Uh, Dory is someone I love to work with because she not only produces kind of beauty, beautiful and well-constructed work, but it always has a really thoughtful and multi-layered message. And in this case, literally it's multi-layered. My name is Dorian Lind. I'm a Canadian artist. I live in Los Angeles. My practice is usually involving painting and installation work. I actually moved to Sacramento when I first came to the U.S. I lived there about a year and then I came down to LA and I've lived there ever since. This work is a multi-plane painting and it gives the illusion of depth through a parallax effect. You stand in front of it and you kind of seem like you're moving through a forest. It's taking reference from Disney's multi-plane camera, which is a camera that was shot from above through a series of glass panes that were all hand painted by women using all paints that were developed by women. That's something that I use in my work a lot cell animations, which are using a type of paint called cell vinyl, painted on the reverse of acetate and then flipped over. So I really wanted to bring that into a larger scale and I'm so excited to see it made. It's six feet tall by 12 feet long and um, the colors are really rich, really beautiful. A lot of them are using blue tones and, and a cool palette. Blue is a color that I often use as the didactic tool to um, inform how people see the world and move through it in maybe a different way than they were doing before. The work is all in reference to different female authors. Each tree is representative of a different author. And there's little details throughout, little different plants, flowers, items that all um, have greater references to women that were really formative in uh, my youth and the youth of other women around me. Uh, there's um, Audre Lorde, Alice Walker, Jermaine de Stahl, Susanna Soka. There's about 20 different women involved and uh, it's neat to look at just because there's all these little details that have been hidden throughout the piece. I think DPR sets really exciting precedent. Uh, of course, uh, public art like this is a really hot issue in Sacramento especially. And I think it's really amazing. Sacramento is going in such an amazing direction. And this isn't just an isolated thing. I really think that this could set an example to do really incredible work.